Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of Interest for today, Thursday, the 31st of August. I hope you're doing well today. Let's have a look around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw broad based small gains in the US overnight with advances exceeding decliners again, which is important in terms of a metric. Uh, this was despite some major data coming out and the markets brushed it off. The Nasdaq posted the fourth straight day of gains but that could be challenged with big data still to come over the next couple of days which we'll talk about in a moment u.s futures are just above neutral in the asian session european futures are pointing to a cautious open later but asian markets are generally positive so far following that wall street lead and some better than expected chinese pmi data on the manufacturing side asx may make its fourth straight day of gains as well but this day just trading around neutral the US dollar falls again from three month highs. It hit last week. And this is the fourth day of declines. It is testing the 200 EMA. Slightly lower again in Asia overall, but does seem to be covering a little bit over the last hour or so. Gold moves higher again as the monthly highs around 1950. That's a key level that it may test during today, depending on that data that comes out later. And copper is also testing the top of the short term range. Oil moved out of the range to the upside a couple of days ago and continues to edge higher overnight. The bulls are certainly in play on oils at the moment. Bitcoin is pausing today, really, after the previous day's major gains. And the Chinese are, as we said, the Chinese PMI came out showing better than expected numbers on the manufacturing side. Still in contraction, but only just under that critical 50 level. Service PMI number was a little soft. Uh, but it's the manufacturing that everybody's keeping an eye on at the moment. We've got big data again today, as we've already suggested, Eurozone CPI and jobs numbers out later and US weekly jobs. And probably the most important number of the day is the year on year PCE, which is the Fed's favorite inflation number. That all makes for an interesting day to day to today. But of course, it doesn't end there because we've got the non-farm payrolls tomorrow. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're looking at the Aussie US on the four hourly chart. It looked as though it was going to breach the 65.15 level, which looks quite important if we look at pivot levels. If we breach that, I think there's a fairly achievable 40 pip move to the upside on the cards. But as you can see, we've got some US dollar strength that's come in today across the board, really, just to retrace a little bit of the losses over the last few days. So it'll be interesting to see what happens subsequent to European Open with this and other pairs. On the ASX, we're looking at 360.ASX or Life360 Inc. You can see there, we talked about this stock before. It has breached $9 now. Uh, that was a key level. You can see it tested it a couple of weeks ago, then retraced and he's retesting it yesterday. And now we've got this move higher. This looks very positive. Volume's not bad today. Uh, and we look as though we could be up for a move, possibly towards this $10 level in the first instance. So one certainly to keep an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.